Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on 3D modeling. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create this bookshelf called the Aiden Modern Bookshelf found on Furniture of America. Now I'm going to leave a link below so you can click on it and get the reference for yourself and that way if you want to follow along you can. Now this bookshelf does have some measurements off of the website. So for the height we have 47.2 inches, for the width we have 47.2 inches, and for the depth, we have 11.8 inches. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, we wanna make sure our units are set up correctly. So I'm gonna go up here to customize unit setup and verify that we are in US standard and I'm gonna be using decimal inches here. Let's bring in our reference. I'm gonna go up to rendering, view image file, and let's go ahead and grab our reference for today. All right, so we need a plan of attack on how we're gonna go about doing this. So we have two, or there's a lot of different methods you could use. You can use spline method, you can use box modeling, you can even take a bunch of boxes and start sticking them all together to create this piece of furniture. Now, realistically, all these pieces are separate from each other. So for example, um, we can, sorry, we can see that the top shelf is separate from the side shelves and all the interior shelves are different sizes, or excuse me, all the interior shelves are separated as well. So we can either A, build the entire thing using box modeling and then come back and separate all the pieces, or two, you can just build all the pieces separately, which may cause a little bit of frustration with the alignment um, making and making sure that everything is even. So what I'm gonna do is build it with box modeling first, then I'm gonna come back and take it apart. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So so first thing we need is a box. So let's go over here to create box and let's go ahead and drag out a random box and then we'll come back into our modify and start adding in our numbers. So we had a height of 47.2 inches. We had a width of 47.2 inches. and a width of, looked like it was 11.8 inches. So we're off to a good start. Next thing I wanna do is I want to add the segments that I, necessary, I need in order to complete this model. I don't need to add all the segments. I'm just gonna start working from the outside and then build my way to the inside at, by adding segments as I go along. So looking at this, we have the segments we have are for the frame it looks like but we don't really need these two here. So I can go ahead and get rid of the segments there. It looks like it's gonna be the, that one, the length segments. And let me just go ahead and put this back to normal. There we go. There we go, nope. There we go. All right. So these are gonna be segments that we're gonna be using for the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert this guy now into an editable poly. And I'm gonna go into the front view and I'm gonna go and start rearranging all the geometry. So using my vertex mode, I can go ahead and select the inside vertical vert vertices here. And using the scale tool, I'm gonna to go ahead and scale those guys apart. Now, if you want it to get super accurate, you could use the grid and set the grid to inches. And that way you can measure out um, the exact measurement of these shelves. Um, I don't really feel like it's necessary right now, so we're just going to do it by eye. Going to go ahead and grab the horizontal ones and scale those apart. And how I'm eyeing this is, is I'm trying to form a box inside of here because um, it looks like these guys are perfectly even. And it looks like the vertical ones could be a little bit wider. Something like that, maybe. All right, good. 
So now that we have the outside frame, we can go ahead and start building the interior. So for the interior, I'm going to go ahead and start out with these frames here, the inside, um, outside, or the outside frames, and then I'm going to work my way into the inside frames. So grabbing my edge tool, I'm going to go ahead and select do the vertical, right click and say connect. And I'm going to do a connection of two. Now you might think to yourself, well, why not three or why not three, four or five? Because I want these two to be perfectly evenly spaced. Um, if I were to add, say, three, then I don't have that even amount anymore. Um, and things are going to be a little bit off. So just two for now, and then we're going to add the other one back in. So going across the horizontal, connect. And it looks like we have a good connection there. It looks like everybody's even. All right. So now that we have the geometry for the outside edges. So now I'm going to work on the frames that are for the interior um, part. So I'm going to go ahead and select since this guy is on the left side of this shelf, I'm going to go ahead and select this area. And I'm going to select this area. Right click. We're going to go ahead and say connect. One connection. And we're going to go ahead and grab our slide and bring it in since it's not entirely um, in the center. So about right there. And I'm just going to look at this number, say 35. And that way I can use that number for the other ones here. So selecting through the horizontal there, right click, connect, and that's going to give us our exact same numbers. Perfect. So now we have the outside frame or the outside shelves. We have the inside shelves. So now what we need is just this cross here. So right in the center, select through, right click, connect. Oops. Do that again because we had the same the settings from the other past one. So we're gonna do one connection and zero slide. And then right through the center here, right click, connection, perfect. Awesome. So now we have all the geometry we need. Now we just need to add the details back to it. So right now our bookshelf has no thickness to the shelves. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Now looking at the image, you can see that the inside frame has a different thickness than the outside shelves. So we're going to want to make sure that we do the outside shelves separate from the interior shelves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab our edge tool and I'm going to go ahead and find all of my um, outside edges. So I'm going to double click, hold down control and double click. Over here, we're going to go ahead and say, hold on control, double click, and this one, double click. Now looking at this picture, it looks like the interior part is also the same thickness as the exterior part. So let's go ahead and add him too. Let's go ahead and double click and double click. Great. So now we can do all the shelves at the exact same thickness. So we're going to go over here to chamfer and I'm going to go ahead and say chamfer about 0.4 inches. And that looks maybe a little too thick. So I'm going to do 0.3. That looks a little bit better. And I think that should work. So let's press OK. Now I'm going to work on the outside frame here. So I'm going to double click on this line here. Hold down control, double click here. Hold down control, double click there and double click there. Let's go ahead and add that chamfer. And we're going to do about 0.5 for that. And that's going to almost be the exact same size as the shelf on or the frame on the outside. And as I'm looking at it, it is a little bit too thick. Um, but I think just for the purpose of this tutorial, I think that'll work fine. All right, so now we have all the geometry we need. Now we just need to put it all together. So to do that, we're just going to use Polygon. And I'm going to select all the empty areas that we see inside of our bookshelf. And then we're going to use Bridge to close it all off or open it all up. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and select through here. Oops. And I'm gonna use, um, press Q first, because I don't wanna move any polygons. So press Q and that's just select mode. And we're just gonna select through here and select through there. And I'm gonna continue doing that until I have all the pieces that I need. Got this guy here. Let's see, um, do that. All right, so once you get to this point, just take a look at it. Um, verify that you're happy with it before you move on. If you're not happy with it, then you can go ahead and just grab the vertex tool and start moving the vertices around in sets um, just to get to the correct size that you want your object to be in. Um, in my case, I would probably say I'd probably make the these edges probably more closer to here. Um, space them out a little bit differently than I have them right now, but I think this should work for now. So both sides are selected. Please verify that. Um, you don't want to hit bridge and it br bridges the wrong faces. So I'm going to go ahead and hit bridge. And now we have our complete bookshelf. And I'm going to go and press P for perspective so you can see that a little bit better. See, it looks pretty good. Now you can say you're finished right at this point that's it or you can add more details um, by separating all the pieces of wood which is what we're going to do next 